Today's special feature, I had this insight and I may have shared it before, but I, even if I did, I want to share it in a, in a special way. I have an assertion that people who fight fires, you ever get into that mode in which like you feel like you're always fighting fires all day, every day, like that's become your mode of thinking. I'd like to invite you to, to this idea that people who fight fires, light fires to fight. If you are an adrenaline junkie and you like this, fast forward the video until we're starting to do questions and answers again. However, if you don't like this, if you don't like the adrenaline rush, if the stress gets you down, if you feel like this is a, an obstacle, a block between you and the person that you can be, if it's a block between you and the earnings that you can have, if it's a block between you and the difference that you could be making, consider taking this on. And, and it shows up in so many different ways. It shows up in a CEO who's doing too much operationally. And then there's a, the sales pipeline is dried up or we're out of compliance with HR and we didn't realize it's something that the CEO might have otherwise paid attention to because the CEO is doing somebody else's job. Um, skipping compliance tasks. It's not just the CEO, CEO right? I mean, it's, it's any leader, it's the CFO, it's, it's any other organizational leader. Skipping compliance tasks is another one. Don't skip. It's worth it. If you're fighting fires all the time, you can say, oh, yeah, I can't worry about that. That's you know, Maybe I'll get it audited, maybe I don't, and I'm busy with this stuff. Well, you know what? You're busy with this stuff because you didn't take care of something with that stuff. So don't skip the compliance tasks and if you don't have time for it and i get that because there are plenty of things that i'd like to get done that i don't have time for consider what's your superpower make sure you're doing only what your superpower is and bring in the resources for the rest and you might say yeah jamie sure it's real easy for you to sit there and say bring in the resources but are you looking at my bank account are you looking at my budget are you looking at my i get that and that's the type of thing that we can we get handled together in a private consultation there are ways, there's a timeline, there's a plan, there are ingenious things that I've never thought of, ingenious things that you've never thought of, ingenious things that we can really pull uh, and create and invent together. Um, ways that you can make sure that these things get handled. Keeping everything in your head. Does anybody work in an organization in which something is kept in somebody's head? Nobody else knows about it? That's a problem, right? Because when that person is not there and something needs to get handled, nobody knows what to do or they improvise and then maybe the improvising goes well and maybe it doesn't. And if it doesn't, boom, you just lit yourself another fire. What about if you're not, if, if you're not out, but you're present, but everything's in your head and that's why there are so many fires to fight because there are only so many hours in a day. There are only so many bars of chocolate in the pantry. You know what I mean? So there with, that in itself creates another fire. Document it, flow chart it, record yourself on a video talking about it, whatever it is, get it out of your head and into the hands of people who can be there to support and help you. There are other ways to doing life than fighting fires all day long. Um, and there's, there's one thing that which I'd like to leave you with today as part of our special feature. Listen to your conscience. It's incredibly refreshing to do that to go, you know, what I know to do in this situation is different from what I'm about to do. Let me complete this fully in the way that I know to complete it. Let me delegate this in the way that I know to delegate it. Let me talk about this proactively because I know to talk about it proactively and not, and not fail to communicate and then there's another fire to fight. There are other ways for you to provide value, to feel valuable, to be valuable than to only be the one fighting fires.